Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to change the automatic transmission fluid on a 2001 Accord. This is the UK version though. I know there's a Jap one and a US one. So the main thing with this job is to try and get the car jacked up. A safe sort of level environment. Or else, looking up here, I can get it over a pit. So if you can get it over a pit, up a lift, or jack it up safely, that's the main thing. And try have a level, just because if you have it at an angle, you might drain out all the old fluid so one thing i'm just going to do is i'm going to leave it in neutral main reason for leaving it in neutral is if i make a balls of it or if i don't have enough fluid uh, i think running an automatic with no fluid is really bad compared to let's say a manual so i'm just going to leave it in neutral just in case uh, so i can push the car around or that so just worth noting i might be talking shite i don't know it varies from house to house but this here is our oil draining kit as you can see, we just have a big sort of a plastic uh, lid just to capture any oil spill and then a nice uh, saucepan there. So now we're under the car. There's the exhaust, oil sump, uh, a nice old leak from the sump. Uh, we won't worry about that. This is the gearbox here and there's a bolt here and this is our drain. So all you do is unbolt this, drain the oil out, bolt it back up. And then there is a dipstick at the top. And the dipstick at the top is where I'm gonna pour in the fresh oil. And I think that's it. There's a level on the dipstick and make sure it's right with uh, automatics because if it's too high or too low, they're both, they're both gonna fuck it up, so. The drain plug is not a nut. It's actually like a square, which means we can put the ratchet. We can throw the ratchet straight on there and Lefty Lucy and Bob's your uncle. Fucking hell. So when you're throwing it out, just be careful. Get your dirty saucepan at the ready. Oh. See, that's a lovely colour. By the way, I'm, I'm doing this because the car doesn't go into reverse. But uh, that, that, just, that just looks like engine oil. You see this? This is a prime example of what a fucked gearbox is. See, they're all bits of metal. But I'll keep going anyway. So once you've all that drained, uh, just put the plug back in. Tighten it up to spec. And I just ran a bit of brake cleaner over there. You just clean up all the oil. So now we come up to the beautiful end of the car. Just a few of the two liter automatic Accord. The dipstick for the gearbox oil is this yellow handle here. You need to get some small hands on the go. But uh, yeah, it's fairly clear which is the max and min. I'm gonna chuck in, I think it's either 1.8 liters or two and a half. I'm gonna find out. Well, I've managed to absolutely wedge an IKEA funnel down there and I'm just going to pour it from up here. And the fluid I'm using is this stuff. Um, I think it's grand. I put my trust in the motor factor. I see Honda boys saying you have to get Honda stuff, but uh, I'm not arsed. So this is going in. Um, we'll see how much I have. Be, you'd be some man to do this without a funnel now, I'll tell you that. But yeah, that's the first bottle. I only have two, and I don't know if it's enough. But yeah, I'll throw in the other bottle and see. But the funnel worked the job. Uh, there's the dipstick. Yeah, I'm a bit low. Uh, that's two litres there. And as you can see, it's just below the minimum. So I'm going to have to buy another litre, which is grand. So I guess you need two and a bit litres, so. That's how you do the oil on your Honda Accord. <laughs> 